time to go. Time to go. Feeling good. Slept well. Ate well this morning. Got my coffee. Drove here safely. It's 6.01. Race starts in 29 minutes. And I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 50 miles. See you in six hours. Oh my folks, oh my. Uh, that did not go as planned. Did not go as planned today at the Lake Sonoma 50. Um, <laughs> where to begin? All right, I'm just gonna walk you through start to finish. Um, basically, gun goes off at 6.30 a.m. It's when I said goodbye to you. And the first two miles is on pavement. I wanted to be, you know, top 10. I didn't want to be stuck in a huge pack when we hit the dirt because it goes to single track trail and I was in I believe seventh place when we hit the dirt so that I felt good about that uh, first second and third were pretty far ahead they were probably two minutes ahead and um, we just started cruising I kept telling myself to chill it's one of the things I wrote on my arm this morning was just chill and I feel like I accomplished that goal although we did feel it did feel like we were going pretty fast um but it, it, it felt controlled does that make sense even though we were moving um it felt like we were just kind of moving along so we're moving along moving along it's a very hilly course rolly 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 the first you know 18 miles and creek crossings there are six of them on the way out and six on the way back um so, the first creek crossing I actually was able to jump over because it wasn't very wide, but the second and third, uh, my feet did get wet, um, which actually felt kind of good. It kind of cooled you off because it is a hot day. And basically, uh, what happened, so you're going through, you're going like around these mountains into, into these ravines, essentially like a little valley, like a, uh, where the water is trickling down. So you go in and out and in and out for, you know, miles and miles. Well, around mile 22, one of these ravines had a, you know, a creek going down it. You know, water finds the lowest point and follows it down. So in this ravine, you know, there's probably two feet wide, a tiny little creek. It wasn't big. You could easily jump over it. Well, the trail is, you know, bombing into the creek and then takes a hard right. You know, because that's what the trail does the whole way. It's like you're going in and out and in and out. Well, um, sorry, I just want to make sure this truck does not hit me. All right, we're good. So, <clears throat> I, I jump over the creek, plant my left foot, and something popped in my left ankle on the front of the foot. It something popped. I don't know if it's a tendon, a ligament. It wasn't like excruciating pain, uh, but it was enough to make me a little concerned. So, but it's a race, and I kept going, and it didn't like force me to stop. It wasn't that painful, uh, but it was enough of a twinge to make me be vigilant of the body. So, at this point, I think I'm in sixth place at mile 22 and around the approximate i'm approximately i wasn't you know looking at my watch too much so <laughs> it got it, this and this happened at 22 ish and this is right before the really hilly section on the course where it's like bigger hills well it got worse and it got worse and it got worse um and it wasn't getting better and so basically the turnaround point is 25. um i made it to mile 28 so I, I didn't want to stop and quit at mile 25, which would have been easy to do because all that's where all the people are at. So I kept going and by 28, I had dropped to 12th place and I just was like, this is not working. This, and once again, it wasn't like excruciating pain, but it was enough to tell myself, if I run on this for 22 more miles on this nasty course, which is so up and down, ah, I might mess it up a little bit long term. So, not long term, but like for the next, you know, month or two. So, I'll, anyway, mile 28, I threw the towel in and I decided to call it. And it feels good now. Like, it doesn't feel horrible now. It doesn't feel great. I could walk on it. Um, you know, I'm going to obviously take care of it over the next week. 
two weeks, however long it takes to mend, um, ice, massage, I don't know. I'm going to, you know, I got to have it looked at. So, ay yeah, yeah. that is what happened at the Lake Sonoma 50 2018. Bittersweet, a lot of work, a lot of good training. As you know, many of you know, you've been watching me on Strava and I'm trying to communicate it to you. Um, good learning experience. You got to stay positive. You win some, you lose some. And I, I guess the positive is that I was in sixth place at mile 22-ish and I felt actually I was in sixth place at 25 and that's where people started passing me was at the halfway point um, so I was in, I was in sixth place through mile 25 and feeling okay but I, I uh, anyway I decided to call it so whoo that's the race that's what happened and thanks for cheering on you know if you follow it on Twitter or ultra live or whatever all right Time to go get a burger, in and out coming for you, and I love you all. Don't worry, I'm okay. You just, you live to fight another day, all right?